This is a T1 Smart Jack, and uh, these this is one by itself. Uh, sometimes you'll see these in uh, cases that might have four, six, eight, or more. Um, they're sometimes referred to as shelves or six packs or eight packs. Anyway, this one by itself is in normal operation. The lights inside, starting at the top, are DSL, DS1. Um, those should be green. The third one down is the one you need to be concerned with. That is, let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit here. That is the alarm light. Now, right now it's out, so you can't see anything because it's, it's not lit. Um, and then the next two should be yellow. Um, they stand for um, Extended Super Frame and B8ZS, which are just... Uh, signaling protocols so um, they could be green which would be okay uh, but most commonly they're they're yellow these days and um, and the last one is a loop back so let me show you what this looks like when it's not working correctly so if for instance if this if the if the cable is unplugged what you'll get is you get um, you get uh, two red lights uh, one of which is an alarm light so that third one down is an alarm light and then of course your your uh, extended super frame light goes out. All right, so this is what it looks like when I put it back to normal. Okay, you plug it back in and the lights are back. So if you've got um, two greens and two yellows, then it means that your T1 from a basic connectivity and signaling point of view is working. It doesn't mean there still can't be some problem in the software, there can't be a problem somewhere out further in the remote area, you know, in the wide area network, but that means that locally everything's okay. On the other hand, if you're seeing reds like that, that's not good. That means there's probably something either wrong with your router, your T1 card, or the connection between the smart jack and your T1 card. All right, that's me putting it back to normal. Lights go back to green. It takes it a few minutes, so don't freak out. Okay. Let's go all back to green. And last is the alarm light, which is still red there. What's going on right now is that the T1 and the, the router are communicating and renegotiating the connection, and so that alarm light won't go out until everything's been stabilized. All right, so that, there you go. That's normal. So that's what a normal T1 smart jack, when it's connected and working properly, should look like. Thanks for watching.